there. Um, here, say hi, Ben. Hi there, everybody. Welcome. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a small tour around. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Beth, Bev here, and we're, we're going to look at some cool things that are happening right over here. It uh, looks like we've got a, a paint group uh, or drawing class. So she's going to take you through this and kind of show you the highlights of her business and why we're doing this. So enjoy. Thank you for joining me. I hope you uh, join me every week from this point forward uh, for these Facebook Live events, uh, just to highlight our small businesses downtown and promote business and get you guys to come on down here and take a look at all the exciting things we've got going on. Um, so here's kind of a quick little, isn't that cool? They've got such a cool building. So take a look and join Bev Taylor and me and we'll go through this. Enjoy guys, and here's Bev Taylor. All right, so I'll just follow you around. Well, welcome to our building and our business and uh, where we live and play and, and drink coffee and eat muffins. It's just, and make some art. And it's just a great place to hang out. Today we have, um, which is Thursday, every Thursday, we have a painting drawing, open painting drawing session down here with a varied number of, number of artists who wanna come participate. And um, one week we have a still life, one week we have a uh, figure drawing, and today it's a still life. And people come from one to three, it's open painting, so you can come and you bring your own materials and set up and do your own thing, paint for two hours. Have a quick little critique at the end, and then um, get excited about coming next week. <coughs> Thanks to Fran. Fran could wave. It's kind of bright over there. With the, <laughs> Hi, Fran. We have a lot of fun. We love, we love painters to join us. And so we have a I'll be here. We could get a close up of, of Gail's beautiful painting right there. And Fran's beautiful Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So we, we encourage people to come and participate oh, with wow. us because you learn, the more you do it, the more you learn. And this is a great little support group to, to learn from. So it's always fun to, to paint with friends. And so from here, from this vantage, you can see this is our huge event space. Um, we rent this out for weddings and anniversaries and birthday parties. Wow. Sadly, we're just barely now getting back open to be able to have events here. It has been that bad season. It has, it has. But this is such a wonderful festive space. And um, we can go back over here. Um, during lockdown, when we couldn't do anything, all we did was try and do improvements to our building. And we created oh, a, a wedding wall backdrop that is beautiful. for our weddings because we, we have a lot of weddings down here. So we created a wall to sort of frame ceremonies or pictures or the events. So that's a new thing. In our building, which was built in 1908 by my husband's grandfather, um, it's, been a, it's been a lumber and hardware store for many, many years. And in 1995, we, we turned it into art space. And so let's take a little sidewalk this way. You can kind of see the remnants of the lumber. Yeah. If you look up in the rafters, we still have wood up in the up in the rafters. Oh, so beautiful. Um, you might also get a little picture of these great cabinets. These were bolt bins full of nuts and bolts, and we have two of those. And they are quite a oh. quite a centerpiece of our space in here. And do you sell um uh, these fixtures and things? No. no. I'm yeah. sure we'll get questions. <laughs> one in the corner back there. Oh, that is beautiful. But these got a new uh, coat of stain and varnish during the lockdown, so that was a good thing. Yeah. This is the ladder, the old ladder that goes up to the, the wood grasses up there, all of the storage up there. The yeah. Up there is just for personal use, we don't sell it anymore. My husband's yeah. a woodworker, so oh, nice. it's for storage up there. 
Okay. This is a cool old sign we found when we were <gasps> redoing our, our building. Ah. And that, that sign has been here forever. We figure that when Tom's grandfather was running the business, that it was probably for voter registration. We don't know where the sign was originally, but we just oh. found it in the wood bins and that decided so to pull cool. it out and put it up there because especially this year, we all need help. <laughs> so help the voters. Yes, please. Help to the voters, okay? Yes. So in, uh, five years ago, we added our coffee shop. Okay. And bake shop and my daughter runs it. Tara, you can wave. Wave. <laughs> That's Tara. Tara, everybody. Tara, Tara's our baker. This is Jim. He's a, he's a general contract. Hi, Jim. On the streets. Cool. He's the man on the street. The man on the street. Doing a fantastic job. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's looking good out there. It is. So this is our studio bake shop. Get a little... Yeah. Get a little picture of that here. There does all the baking. We have espresso, Italian sodas, all kinds of teas, chai. And look, her face is almost empty today. Oh, you no. Are too late. Oh, I was looking forward to all kinds of There's treats. A There's a croissant left. We should <laughs> get one of those. Brownie cookie. Really yum. Oh, brownie cookie. And there's the menu, everyone. So there's kind of a... A little yeah. look as to what what artifacts offers um and the the little um bake shop is open gallery hours we're nine to five every day nine to three on saturday close sunday monday okay this is our little children's store offering we try and focus on um um new mexico made chili food products nice so if you're looking for great christmas gifts or our, our hostess gifts to take out of town with you. Yeah. We have some great stuff. I mean, we all have family who visit from out of state sometimes and look for New Mexico products or, to take or home. Have people from New Mexico who move and can't get them. Yeah. This. So yes. just know that we have this and, you know, we even get green chili powder in these giant, Ooh. giant bags. So dips and mixes and red chili, green chili powders. These are fun and so beautiful on the shelf. These are red oh, chili and green chili olive oil infused with green and red chili. Check it out, guys. There's so much here. Yeah. Wow. And so this is this is our actual formal art gallery space up here. We have added um, lots of new jewelry. We brought this space oh, up wow. and we're featuring some really um, Beautiful vintage, vintage um, Navajo turquoise and silver jewelry. Oh, so and uh, some of this came from my mother, some came from other friends' mothers <laughs> who just had too much and yeah. didn't know what to do with it, but it was too beautiful to just sit in a drawer anymore. Oh, so yeah. we brought it out, polished it up, and now we've got beautiful, beautiful jewelry here oh, in our case. Yeah. We also have about five local potters who do fantastic pottery. We love them. And pottery makes a great gift also. And we have lots of choices on pottery. Uh, this is our window decor. Little, a little um, wheelbarrow and a little cart made by woodworker Glenn Crandall. Many of you might be familiar yeah. with him as a local wood turner. Yes. But he's gotten older and he and his wife have retired to California. Okay. And so we no longer carry his beautiful turn oh, bowls, yeah. but he left us these and a little red wagon in the front cabinet. So you might be thinking oh, about beautiful. Christmas because this is the last of the Glen Glen Crandall oh. um, woodwork that is. Sadly. Wow. But uh, we, we will miss him. So we have lots of fun things from cloth painted bags, more pottery. Oh, we, we represent about 40 local artists. Oh, wow. And um, about 13 of them have studios in the mm -hmm. building. So here's Marilyn painting. We can chat with Marilyn. <laughs> yes. 
She's painting Grand Canyon. Oh. She's got a show going up at the college sometime in the future. She did a little study and then that's the larger one that she's doing. Did you go out to the Grand Canyon and kind of sketch around and, and stuff? I did a trail rafting. Wow. It was wonderful. So I have about 30 paintings patiently waiting to be in the sky. Wow. <laughs> Whenever that can happen, who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. This is kind of my grand finale of the set. Yeah. So this is Marilyn's studio. You can see these are working studios. The artists rent studio space and then come here and work, but they welcome visitors. They welcome people to come and chat and look over their shoulder and learn a little bit about what it takes to be an artist and how you work. A lot of people have no idea how this process transpires from inspiration to a finished thing hanging on the wall. So this way you can come and see it happen and we invite you to come yes. in so and cool. visit with us. It's, it's just so cool. That was part of my concept in making open studios. Yeah. I mean most of us work that are probably in private where you can get inspiration and focus uninterrupted. Yeah. But it's not quite as much fun as having open workspace like this. Yeah. So this is this is how it is down here. Thank you. Here's, my, here's Michael Bullock. Hi Michael. Hello. Well known to many. Michael yes. is a watercolorist and a graphic designer. And uh, this is Michael's studio, which very, is beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> well we all have more stuff than we actually need as That's artists. <laughs> yeah I bought some uh, nice organization boxes today and we'll see how that goes. Well, <laughs> so we got walls full of artwork everywhere. Uh -huh. um, Beautiful. And uh, studios everywhere. This is Maria from here. She's a collage artist. So she does things with paper. You might want to go get a closer look at her pieces because they're all done with little bits and pieces of the paper. Oh, look at this, guys. Some she finds, magazines, sections of magazines, tears up. Wow. Um, incorporates all kinds of fun paper stuff. And this is uh, all cool. this fun paper stuff here. Her collages are beautiful. Wow. She does a lot of interesting book art. Also, like these. Oh, these are called altered books, not like altar, like prayer altar. These are where you take an existing book and alter it to become a different kind of work of art. And, um, and it's always fun oh, wow. to see what you can do with an existing book. I love that with the glasses. Yeah. Wow. So this is this fun stuff. Um, we've got studios of all sizes down here. Um, you know, this is a this is a small studio. This is Sandy Nelson's studio. This is George Murphy's studio. George is not here for six months. He goes up and helps his son harvest grapes and makes wine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in South Dakota. So oh. George is not here. George is often. George is often. <laughs> so this is Sandy's studio. This is Lisa Batista's studio. Oh wow! Look at that on guys. She does wonderful. She teaches at the college. Okay. Um, uh, she studies under Bill Hatch. Many of you know Bill Hatch. And uh, what a wonderful artist Bill is. And he was Lisa's mentor. Oh, wow. This is Fran's studio. We just met Fran. She was out heading the painting group out there. So these are some of her finished pieces in her studio. Okay. This is the mother daughter duo back here. Evelyn James and Julian Jensen share this studio along with um, Julaine's husband, Gary, who's a photographer. So we've actually got three artists in this fun space. Oh, wow, look at this piece, everybody. 
This one's interesting here. Wow. I mean, we have a little something for everybody to look at down here and maybe love enough to take home. There's some great gifts. Um, we have a... Um, and don't forget, we have Christmas coming up soon. So we have the holidays coming up. And what you've seen so far is only, you've, you've so many choices. It's so exciting. You have no idea how excited I am, guys. Jerry does the uh, horseshoe work down here also. It's kind of fun. I bought, um, I bought a kitty cat with oh, horseshoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Kitty cat and a dog and cactus. <laughs> Go back to stuff and want to take the upstairs. All right. Get another. Our building is 10,000 square feet, by the oh, way. Yeah. So we have got wall to wall art everywhere. Part of the building is my husband's woodworking shop. Part is my working studio and our little kitchen where it's like our, not our commercial kitchen, but it's just our little, Your little area to snack. <laughs> I love that book, the book art. Yeah. That is super cool. So upstairs here is, uh, we've got two artists up here, Chris Cook and Ernie Johnson. Chris is a local pastel artist, and Ernie is a painter, theater, jeweler. Um, wow. Follow up us here, guys. We got some cool stuff up here, too. Here we are. Full space up in the top of the building. Wow. And uh, this is all Chris's work. And this is all Ernie's work. We're on Facebook Live doing the tour. Here's Ernie making. You need to go over there close up and see what he's doing. He's making Hi, Ernie. Horse, horse hair belt. I'm AJ Begay. Hi. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. He's making. Are you making a belt? Here? I am making something. <laughs> Cat bands. He braids, he braids um, horse, hair horse hair and turns it into belts or hat bands or bracelets. Um, or... It's like she's going to do belts. Yeah. So this is Ernie's studio, but he's also an incredible painter. Portrait painter. And portraits. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. This painting, or this, uh, this looks drawing. like a drawing. a drawing that's got some beadwork yeah. in it, guys. Take a look at that. That is beautiful. These are Ernie's belts. Here are Ernie's belts. Out of horse hair. Wow. Yeah, horse hair. Look at the detail. Let's think about braiding this out of horse hair. Wow, do Ernie. That, do that in your spare time. That is super cool. Yeah. yeah, guys, come on down because Ernie's got these beautiful belts that he makes and these are all authentic handmade stuff so a lot of these portraits are from our figure drawing classes on thursday so ernie's been a big um participant in that all of these have been our models okay so you can get an idea of the kind of models we have and the variety and the kind of finished product that and those are all in oils wow oh, okay well, except for this one, this is watercolor. Oh, that one's beautiful. Well, and those were, those were completed in two hours, these smaller ones. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. And if I like them, I make them bigger. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So I don't know if everybody knows what pastels are. They're like chalk. I tell everybody that Chris is our, our local chalk artist, <laughs> jokingly. Thank you, Ernie. Everyone, that was Ernie Johnson. Chris is outside painting my building. Right <laughs> so he's not in his studio doing pastels. I'll give you the tour of his space because he's painting my building for me right now. We're trying to get our facelift done before it gets really cold. Many of you have noticed we have new black and white signs on our building. 
and we are soon to have our building be black and white to match our new sign. So oh. I'm very, very, very excited about that. Wow. Before winter closes in on us. But Chris is an incredible uh, pastel artist. Interestingly enough, he just started out um, drawing and uh, did um, colored pencil work. Oh. Um, he was really addicted to colored pencil work. Had a friend's, a friend's dad passed away, who was an artist and left pastels. And he was given the pastels. He said, well, I don't know, I've never done pastels, but sure, whatever. <laughs> and you can see <laughs> what transpired. Yeah. He has oh, such a, beautiful. a good eye for drawing that it, it transferred very easily into his pastel work. Yeah. And he's from Bluff, Utah area. And so a lot of his scenes are beautiful Southwest. He has lots of Christmas presents waiting here for you to take home. Oh, that's so beautiful. Floor, as does Ernie over there. So, and this is a cool shot over, overlooking. This is kind of cool. Oh, well, look. These are his Pastels. Chris cooks pastels, guys. Oh! Look over our space. Say hi, Tara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Wow. Bummer of a place to have to come to work every day, guys. Gosh, I would hate it. Oh, <laughs> man. Like, my daughter drinks for me every day. Give me a nice hot drink or cold drink and a muffin or a croissant. Or a That's what daughters are supposed to do, I think. All those years. So just, just for fun, this area up here used to be, as the big event space used to be, inside the building, but it was not heated or cooled. It was cold storage. And believe me, in the winter, it was very cold. And I always I think, I don't think it, it used to be stovepipes. She's doing a tour of so the Idaho. Here I see all this beautiful artwork. I think, wow, it's really, really transformed. Yeah. Wow, guys. Take a look at all this. It's a beautiful space. And if you are an artist, come on down and take a look. And if you are an artist, I have two pictures. Oh, she has the empty studios, guys. Yeah. Yes. So what you've seen so far has been awesome. I hope you are as excited as I am about this. Um, meeting all these artists and, and their areas and the spaces they're in is incredible. Um, also, the paintings that are available for purchase, the other artwork, jewelry. Um, she also has some other goodies, so let's take a look at this. Um, we, we do sell some cookbooks. Um, we've got placemats and pot holders by a local quilter. Oh, okay. Um, who does these wonderful little things that make such great gifts. All the little sort of chili colored pot holders oh, make a great gift to accompany a jar of jelly or a bottle of salsa. We're also starting to feature local authors, um, books on our shelves, and we do book signings. Well, we did do book signings for them. Someday in the future, we will do book signings again, but um, these are all local authors, and uh, I encourage you to come support them as well because they just do a different kind of art than mm -hmm. I do, but uh, great things in their books right there. Yes. Support our local artists, our authors, uh, small businesses, guys. We have a gem right here at our fingertips. Um, well, that's the tour in a nutshell. Yeah. And, um, oh, I'll give you a little history on this. This little display is made out of old apple boxes and ammunition boxes. Oh, Farmington Lumber and Hardware used to sell ammunition. So some of them will say Remington ammunition on them, or oh, not, uh, whatever it is. But this was the box that our original 
typewriter came in, this wooden box, I think it was a Remington typewriter, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, cool. <laughs> but the rest are ammunition boxes that we've just kept. Tom put plumbing carts in them or something. And, <laughs> and uh, oh, it was Remington Arms yeah. Company. So um, we just needed a little more display space for our pottery. It's a great idea. And, uh, those are original nail kegs that are still full of nails. Oh, yeah. That who buys nails anymore? <laughs> Nobody buys nails. They all use nail guns. So that's a whole new, new thing. Wow! And there's some but beautiful. Everywhere you look, we've tried to incorporate historic things that make you think about the nostalgia of downtown Farmington, yeah. and to try and maintain that that feel and that homey feel of times past, but it has a new flair to it all, so. Yeah, and I bet the memories here are just great too for you. I mean, this is a beautiful just space. Really well, Tom and I are both born here. I grew up on the corner where TJ's is. Oh, okay. There was not TJ's diner. There was a little tiny white diner there, Mrs. Brace's diner. And right next door was a brick building that was my mom's beauty shop. Verdine's beauty shop, and we lived in the apartment in the back. Oh, wow. So Mrs. Brace was my friend because she gave me lemon meringue pie and french oh. fries and let me make french fries in the big <laughs> french fry tire. I would get to pull the lever of the french fry. Oh, pie. that's so awesome. And ride my tricycle around, but I couldn't cross the street, so I could only go down to the corner and down to the corner. <laughs> and I remember watching the corner when they paved um, is that commercial? Commercial down there? Yeah. Right in front of the diner. And then we built a new house and oh. moved away from downtown. But we both, it's interesting because Tom grew up in this building and I grew up across the street, but we really didn't know each other until oh, wow. we got into school. So cool. And now we have a new roundabout. We have new streets. They're going to plant here in the next um, little bit. And we'll have trees. Landscaping. Uh, just another little note about downtown. I'm trying to help the ladies plug this is that Festival of Trees is going to occur downtown in the buildings. Oh, wow. Okay. So the committee was just by this morning. They're kind of taking inventory downtown as to how many trees they can have and how many cooperating, participating businesses. Okay. So they're getting very excited about that. That'll be a, another promo that'll. Yeah, of course. Because we can't have the big crowds at the Civic Center. They're spreading it out downtown. So the trees will be in all the businesses downtown. Oh, that's great. And that just, it's going to help boost and, and support oh, yeah. you as well. Yeah, we're very oh, great. If you're totally bored, you can just come watch the crazy people <laughs> drive around. <laughs> <laughs> it's free oh, entertainment, but it'd be great if you come by a muffin <laughs> and a cup of coffee, and then you can, and then really you can watch. sit and watch like, for an hour and go, oh my gosh, did that really happen? It happens. <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, that was our tour, um, Bev and I. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. I have no idea even where to begin or start with this place. It's so nice and it's so beautiful. And the people here are wonderful. I'm huge on customer service and they're so nice here, everybody. So please come down, um, take a look, look at the artist, take a look at the books we have here. Um, Bev's got some beautiful jewelry and, and you saw everything. So please come down, support small business, get as excited as I am about this, which I am. I, I could dance in circles. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we have there's room here um you know grab a coffee or a tea and you know and a muffin and, and just come down and support bev taylor and her beautiful business here at artifacts they're located down at the end of main street 302 um right at the roundabout you can't miss it <laughs> so yeah we're right here so thank you again for joining me for the facebook live event um we're gonna do this every week and feature a business and thank you again bev taylor Thank you for coming to our business today. We appreciate it. We appreciate you Hi, um, focusing on us, and we will appreciate any business that this generates. So, Beautiful. looking forward to seeing everyone. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate you joining us again. Thank you okay. so much. And, and follow me on Facebook, and we'll get another event here get, uh, going soon. Awesome. Can you hear me, AJ? I can hear you. Okay. Uh, AJ, can you repeat what the open hours are again? The hours here are Monday through uh, Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 9 to 3. We're closed Sunday, Monday. Thank you. And AJ, will, yes, you, will you tell them that you have a gift card that you want them yes. to follow these posts? And we're going to go ahead and copy this link and we'll put it back out there after I edit it a little bit and see if maybe all the likes. Uh, you you want to tell them about that? Yeah. So um, if you guys have been following me on, on my personal Facebook, I always try to keep it public too. Um, I visit a small business around town, downtown especially. Um, you know, buy a product, get a service done. And um, if you've been following me, we uh, I, I allow you guys, uh, or we allow you <laughs> to, we just ha have you win a gift card. I'm getting tongue tied, sorry. Uh, a $25 gift card is what you can win. Follow my post, like them. If you can share them, please share them because that'll get the word out. Um, and we just want to reach as many people as possible. And you could be a winner of a $25 gift card for the business that we feature. So today, um, you know, follow me and uh, we'll go ahead and get you guys a gift card as a gift um, for, uh, and we'll pick a, a person. So one lucky person to win. Thank you so much, Flo. Oh, you bet. And we have shared to the Northwest New Mexico Arts Council. It is live on Facebook. Uh, please follow us as well. We have tagged AJ Begay. If you don't have her, please make her a friend. Uh, AJ is with the Arts, the Northwest New Mexico Arts Council, as is several of the artists that are there. But uh, one of the things we want to do on a weekly basis on Thursdays at three o'clock, please take a break, a 15 minute, 30 minute break, and uh, visit with us downtown in the heart of downtown Main Street, where we visit downtown businesses. We will visit Brown Shoe Fit Company, um, uh, shoe store, I'm sorry. We will all, oh, there's artifacts, brochures, and that gorgeous and book. Let's turn it Perfect. around. Oh, that's beautiful. You oh. see it? Oh, yes. Oh, we, this is, this is fabulous. This is our very first one, so we're kind of green on this, so thank you, Bev, for letting us <laughs> We hope that we can get some more downtown businesses. I did tag all of them, a lot of them, and so if you're interested, contact us. You can contact Sherry at HQ. And uh, also visit, uh, I think she sends out some Zoom invites on Wednesdays and find out more details or let us know. Thank you very much. And uh, we hope to see you next week. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Visit Artifacts.